And for most students, learning is something that happens in the classroom. Homework tends to happen at home. But a local teacher is turning that model upside down, taking a unique approach, one he says has a proven track record. Megan Coleman reports. The video last night in the whole note section. As a math teacher at Onondaga Central School, John Stephen Melfi works hard to connect with his students. It takes a certain skill to teach college algebra trigonometry to this group of juniors, and he is constantly amazed by their success. That's why I teach. It's, it's remarkable. Do you see uh, th them growing from September to June, and when, they, when that bulb, light bulb goes off, it makes my job why I'm here. First negative three raised to the fourth, yeah, okay. and then take the fourth route. But rather than lecturing to them in class, he's taking a different approach, turning to classroom flipping to help his students learn. What this does is if they have a question, they just raise their hand, and I'm there. It's a non-traditional teaching method that's gaining traction across the country. Instead of teaching the material during class time, Melfi pre-records his lecture. Now I'm in their homes every night. With the flipped classroom, the lesson happens at home. All over negative two. The homework? And you're done. That's done the next day in school. When students do homework at home and they get stuck on a problem, they sit there. Mom and dad try to help, and then they're stuck. But if I said the square root of negative eight... Using Melfi's model, it's a collaborative approach, with students working together in groups, doing their homework as a team. Perfect. You get the same answers? You should. It's a new way to engage students, like Carly Wooker, and get them to absorb the material in a way they never have before. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the fact that I can ask him questions. The fact that, like... We do our homework in class, and he's right there. It's just so nice. Watching the lecture online with the ability to pause, rewind, or rewatch any portion of it, then come to class the next day armed with questions. That's just part of what students seem to love most about learning this way. It's a powerful tool to be able to see it multiple times because you can't rewind the teacher in class, but you can a video. So it really helps you with areas that you might not be as strong at. It's actually a lot of fun because we get to work in a group with all of our friends and we all just sit down and do math problems. And it appears to be working. Our first year we had over 85 percent um, mastery on the New York State Regents exam. With students seeing significant increases in their test scores. Before the classroom flipping, only about 54 percent of students were passing their Regents exam. It blew me away to be honest with you. So they're learning more, they're getting that deeper understanding why uh, they got a question wrong, why a concept is confusing to them. We did check in with the New York State Education Department to see if they've taken a stand on this new form of teaching. They tell NBC3 it's a local decision and they don't provide any guidance on the flipped classroom model. But both Melfi and his students point to improved test scores, saying it works. I'm Megan Coleman reporting.